What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys enjoyed the match day vlog from Southampton a couple of days ago. But this is what I'm hoping to be a regular strand of content for my channel. Like, I know I barely upload on this channel. I need to start doing it more often. This is what's hopefully going to be the strand of content that I'm going to be doing every week. It's called Twitter Reacts. And what I'm going to be doing on this video is I'm going to be taking the most popular, the most well-talked about tweets from each match day. And we're going to have a little discussion about it. We'll talk about the tweet. We'll talk about whether I personally agree or disagree. I'll discuss why. And you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know whether you agree or disagree with anything that I have to say. But guys, let's go straight into it. Let's go straight into the first tweet. Now, as we know, Chelsea beat Southampton 4-1 at St. Mary's a couple of days ago. It's our fourth win out of four. We're now fifth place in the league. We're climbing up that table. We're building up on the lost ground from the start of the season. And the players and the whole youth are starting to bang. And the comments on Twitter... It's so positive. The positivity from Chelsea fans right now is so great to see. It's a complete 180 that we've seen from the Chelsea fans from last season. Last season was all toxic. We were all split. Were we sorry in? Were we sorry out? Did we agree with his tactics or did we think it was all bullshit? This season, it's a lot more united. Everyone's a lot more united in support of Chelsea. The tweets are very positive coming out of the Southampton game. First tweet I'm going to take out from Uber Chelsea FC, by the way. Shout out my guy, Uber Chelsea FC. Tammy Abraham is two goals away from equaling Marcus Rashford's best ever Premier League tally. We were only eight games into the season. Let that sink in. See, that's a bit mad. But I think that's more dissing Marcus Rashford than that is bigging up Tammy Abraham. I mean, obviously, Tammy Abraham's fucking banging in the league right now. He's the top goal scorer. He's got eight goals for the season. And the guy's firing on all cylinders. But for him to be two goals away from equaling Marcus Rashford's best ever Premier League goal tally... And Marcus Rashford has been a Manchester United first team player for, what, five seasons? That's saying more about Manchester United than that is about Chelsea. By the way, Manchester United are a fucking laugh. And every week that goes past, it's a lot more shocking as to how we lost 4-0 to them in the, in the first game of the season. But, payback's coming. We got them in the cup. We got them in the next round of the Carabao Cup. Hopefully, Ole finally crashes at the wheel for the last time at Stamford Bridge. But we need to make it count. We haven't beaten Ole Gunnar Solskjaer before as Manchester United manager. And I swear, I swear if they beat us at the bridge again, I don't even know what I'm going to do. You probably just ain't going to see me on social media for the rest of the week. I'll do my fan cam and duck and you won't hear from me again. The Tammy Abraham, like I said, this boy's firing on all cylinders. We were very worried about how we were going to deal with our strikers for this season because... Tammy Abraham, Olivier Giroud, Mishi Batshuayi, you look at it on paper at the start of the season, it doesn't look the most formidable strike force, but Tammy Abraham, he is proving everybody wrong. Ever since that penalty miss, he's woken up something in this boy, and he's now fully on it. He's ripping teams apart every single week. This is the sort of striker that we've been hyping for years, and I didn't expect him to develop this quickly. I thought it would take at least one season or two, but... Right now, Tammy Abraham, he's showing exactly what he's capable of. So you know what? Fucking banging. Alright, our next tweet comes from at the blues underscore underscore. And he says, actually this is more of a transfer rumour than is anything, any sort of statement. And it's, Real Madrid are ready to rather Juventus for Chelsea ace and Golo Kante in a £70 million transfer. Now, I know Real Madrid, there's been a couple rumours that Real Madrid are interested in trying to take Kante from us. As per usual, Real Madrid come in for yet another one of our star players. The 70 million, are you lot crazy? Eden Hazard cost 130 million, he was on a one year contract. And you lot are trying to get 70 million from Angolo Kante. That is either bullshit or Real Madrid are smoking some mad shit up there. Bruv. If we sell, if we hear £70 million from N'Golo Kante, I want them to hang the phone up on him. N'Golo Kante goes nowhere. Right now, he's our only world-class player on paper. And with N'Golo Kante, you sell him, then we're a selling club. Simple as, we're a selling club. I don't believe it's happening. I think it's all bullshit. I don't see N'Golo Kante leaving. He's just breaking into a five-year deal. He's never said anything about wanting to leave Chelsea. He's been happy to stay here for the majority of the time. He wants to make a name for himself as a legend at this club. 
The guy doesn't want to go anywhere. If he did want to go anywhere, he wouldn't have signed a five-year deal this year, especially with a transfer ban coming up. N'Golo Kante is going nowhere. I'm not even worried about this deal. If we want, if they come to us for N'Golo Kante, we need to hand them to Blueprint to Stamford Bridge and say, build the new stadium and then come to us and maybe we'll consider it. Other than that, I'm not hearing nothing. N'Golo Kante is going nowhere. Next tweet in from Gate17Marco and he says, Early candidate for 2019-2020 Chelsea Player of the Year, William. Credit to Frank for unscrewing his head and making him believe in his ability. Credit to William for buying into Frank's vision, grafting hard and setting a great example to the younger lads. First off, I want to say William gets hella criticism from Chelsea fans, myself included. I've, se I've said what I've had to say about William. And you know what? William right now has been better than than any form I've seen from him since March 2018. Yeah, let's say March 2018, whenever that Barcelona first leg game was, because he had a brilliant run of form around there and he just dipped off. But that's also what I want to say. We've seen this plenty of times from William before. He has a great run of form and then he just dips. I don't want him to dip. I want this to finally be the real deal and for him to have a season of consistent good performances because on his day, he is... Not at Eden Hazard's level, but he's close. I'd say he's like the level below or something like that. Because I remember, especially at that point back in 2018, Hazard was kind of dipping in form as well, and William was kind of carrying us through games. Now Eden Hazard's gone, the focus is on William a lot more, especially seeing as he took his number 10 number with him. William needs to start stepping up. And right now, William's doing the job. Defensively, he's tracking back going forward. His runs off the ball are brilliant. He's always a threat. The guy looks a lot different to the player that he was last season, but he needs to keep doing it. This now needs to finally be the consistency that we need to see from William. I'm glad he's playing at this level, but the criticism has always been because William doesn't stay at that level for long. It's always a one good game in five or one good game in ten or something even worse than that. William needs consistency. I hope, I hope that Frank Lampard is the manager that can finally bring this out of William. Because if we can get that consistency, you know what? Maybe he is worth that number 10 shot. But we need to see it from him. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Guys, this has been Twitter Reacts on my channel. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you guys like this, I'll do it more often. I'll make it a weekly thing.